Hello, YouTube Nick Nandam. We're having a driving video. Uh, I decided to drop by the Pinnacles National Park today because uh, the place I'm living is like two miles from here. A little bit more than two miles, but it's really close. And now that the water problem is fixed, six weeks with no water finally resolved, I can do like literally anything else other than dealing with the water problem. That was just like an unbelievable amount of stress and anxiety to the point where I, I started getting, um, when I get really stressed out, I get like this weird itchy rash on my jaw right there. It's weird. And I also gained like 20 pounds just from dealing with the stress of getting water and getting the system repaired. And there's, you know, like there's literally only one guy that will come all the way out here to fix the thing. And I don't have cell service out here. So who knows when he's coming, what's going on. He comes, he shows up, he needs a new, he needs a different thing. The thing's not ready, take it back to the shop. I mean, it's just six weeks, six weeks to get running water. The water's coming out like weird and yellow and brown and there's no hot water. So I'm gonna call him up and see about if there's anything he can do about that. But I have running water so I can flush the toilet. And so it's, it's honestly a really good idea for me to be staying at this ashram and temple for the winter because my original plan was going to be traveling and living in the SUV. And then it got really cold and really rainy really fast. I thought I had a few more weeks of travel before winter started. And then once winter started, I was trying to figure out, well, where do I go? And I mean, it's just cold and rainy everywhere. And it's not a temperature that I want to be sleeping in my car. Like I would need to get a much warmer sleeping bag and be, you know, a little more winter proof for that. And in looking for where's a place where I can go that has temperatures that I'm willing to sleep in my car, I'd have to drive like out to Houston, which is, I don't want to be driving out to Houston. Like that, that is not on my to-do list. So I am incredibly grateful for the cosmos, for Paramashiva, for my guru, for this, this ashram's guru, for giving me this opportunity to spend the winter at this ashram and temple. It's one of those things where I would not have thought to do this on my own. I would not have even pursued it as an opportunity. It was an opportunity offered to me and I have learned that when these kinds of opportunities come up, you just say yes and you jump and you do it. So that's what I did. Kind of one of the realities of van life for a lot of people, a lot of the van life people spend their winters settled somewhere. And I know those of you that watch all the van life YouTubes and Instagrams and whatnot, you know, like these people, they're just planning out their content so it looks like they're traveling year round. Most of the van life people are not on the road in the winter, that they take a few months off and very few of them will admit that because that's uh, not an exciting part of the lifestyle. I had not planned on settling down and staying in one place for the winter, but I had an opportunity and I took it. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Like I'm, I'm settled, sort of, for a few months. I don't know when you might be watching this video. After that, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Ultimately, the goal is to get back to my guru's ashram. So I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to be out here. As soon as they let people in, like, I, I put my name on the list to go back. I put my name on the list to get approved to go back and to live at the Adenum. And I don't know when 
that is going to happen. It stays, you know, cold and rainy here in California until, you know, at least March or April. So I might end up just staying on or I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know. Like this was not a part of the plan. But one thing I am not going to do, I am not going to start renting an apartment. Like I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sign a lease. I'm not going to rent. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I would be open to the possibility of like a 30-day sublet, but I'm not I'm not going to stop being nomadic. I'm going to live in the world and I'm not going to settle down and find a place to live and any of that. I'm not going to get a job. Nope. I might end up needing to start up my business again, kind of depending on how things go. But I don't have to worry about that until the end of January. Just kind of bumming around the central California coast. Now that I don't have to worry about the water issues, I have some freedom to leave and explore. I just stopped, I just stopped by the Pinnacles National Park to find out how much of the park is actually accessible for dogs. Because I don't know if you can see, I have two large dogs with me this week and I cannot leave them alone or they will like do something stupid. So the dogs go with me everywhere. There's also some really cool ghost towns, like old abandoned mining towns out here that I'm really curious to check out. So that is also on my to-do list. I'm just driving. I'm just driving out. I'm driving to see what is this place where I am living. You know, instead of anxiously just driving between where I'm staying and the point where I get cell service and the Starbucks and the Target and the grocery store, I can just drive. I can just like relax and know that when I get back, I can flush the toilet and there will be running water and I can cook food and wash dishes and it's not a problem. Polly, I am trying to drive. Can you please not? So now it's raining and it's beautiful and I'm just going to enjoy and uh, I don't, I don't care. I don't care what anyone thinks about my life. I don't care if any of you approve or disapprove of what I'm doing, like, I don't care. I literally do not care at all. I am doing whatever the hell I want with my life, and as soon as I am able to go back to my guru's adinam, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam, to his ashram, his adinam in India, or wherever they want me to go, then I'm going, I'm going and I'm doing that.